crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here, and today I would like to show you how I'm going to cut out an entire sheet, 12 by 12 sheet, of images that I've stamped in black archival ink from this stamping set by Stampin' Up! It's called Crafting Forever. And I just thought these images would be perfect for their brother scanning cut because they have solid black lines around them. I wasn't sure about this one, but I, I'm pretty sure these pens are going to do a great job. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is start to finish, show you how we do that. I have placed the 12x12 paper onto the mat. Okay, it's, I'm going to have to get a little closer here. I will go ahead and I'm going to just go like this. I'm going to load the paper. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I want to scan. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna save the data, I'm just gonna directly cut the data. So I'm gonna go ahead and say direct cut. And I'm gonna press start. And then I wanna set my camera down on a tripod so that you can get a better view of these settings. No. I don't want the mat hitting my tripod. I'm rolling it up for a second. But you wouldn't do this at home. <laughs> I'm using a narrow field of view so you get a better view of the screen. And I don't want the mat knocking over my camera. Okay, it looks like it did a pretty good job. These are the areas that were recognized. I'm going to go ahead and say okay. The, one of the first things I do is I, I could see that the spools weren't fully recognized. But the scissors were most of the paint. I'm just going to go ahead and I usually ignore object sizes for little small things like so, so that it doesn't catch extra little bits of stamped ink on the screen. I'm just going to go ahead and say okay. So I'm ignoring object size. Another thing I always do is I added, well, I usually do this, uh, outline distance. It gives a little nice border around the stamped images. So in this case, I just picked the default, which is 0.04. I'm going to go ahead and say okay. And now, this is light cardstock, so while it's processing, I just want to show you. I would use a blade depth of about five for light cardstock. For heavier cardstock, Stampin' Up's typical cardstock, maybe five and a half or six, but light cardstock, a five. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that blade back in. All right, so here it's ready to go. It's recognized. I'm going to just, there's a couple areas down here. If I go to this page, you see how this is? selected in red. If an entire pair of scissors was not selected, I don't want to cut out a partial pair of scissors. And it even knows that these little bits you may not want to cut out. I'm not going to go ahead and delete that bit, which is an entire pair of scissors. I just delete the little bits that were over there on the left. Okay, I think I like it. The rest is great. I'm going to go ahead and say cut. Now, the spools didn't cut, but that's okay. I think it's just where they're located on the mat because I've had success with spools, the little spools in the past. Okay, because I curled my mat a little, the, uh, the paper's coming up. Because I curled it to show you. So what you do in that case is you just take a little spatula. Because the mats are not very sticky. It doesn't even matter that this is a new mat. They lose their stickiness. So I'm going to go ahead and use a spatula while it's cutting to make sure that it stays stays on there. And I see the paper filling up a bit. And you can do this while it's cutting. You just take a piece of painter's tape. I'm going to so while it's cutting. Remember, it's not going to cut that part at all because we we deleted we deleted these scissors down here. And that cut. So I'm going to go ahead and just I'm going to tape right over those just so the paper doesn't slip out of its out of place. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video because you don't need to be sitting there for. So it's going to take four minutes to cut. And you don't need to wait four minutes. So I will be back with part two. Okay, we are back with part two. We've just cut out a whole page of these images. 
Okay, we are from the Crafting Forever stamp set. Okay, and all I do at the end here is I just say okay. And I'm going to go ahead and unload the mat. And move the camera out of the way. So I'm going to put the camera down and show you a trick for getting these stamped images off of the mat. Okay, so first I'm just going to peel the paper. Okay, and like I said, this is a new mat. So it's pretty sticky compared to the other mats, which and they do lose their stickiness pretty quickly. There are lots of tutorials on how to restick your mat, and I've tried a lot of methods, but I just find it's easier to get a new mat sometimes. Okay, so they did it's great job. Some of these stuck to the mat, great, and now we have a lot over here. So all you have to do to get these off is just curl the mat, okay, and that makes it very easy. They pop right off. These are very thin mats. So I'm just curling it, curling it, lifting. This is the this is the lint that makes it lose its stickiness. So pull off any extra little bits of paper. Pulling off all these pens. Now this was one this was one stamp. Okay, so the brother scan and cut allows you to take these three pens were one stamp, and it allows you to take that and make three images, which you can now have lots of possibilities where you don't have to use all three pens at once. So I was thinking I'll do some Christmas colors, I'll do some in colors, I'll do some Halloween colors. I'm going to be coloring these, these themed pens with different color schemes and see how that comes out. So be sure to stay tuned and check out my blog, thepaperchef.com, because I will be showing you some things you can do with that, with these images, some projects that I've made when I'm done. Okay, why am I making you watch me take these images off the mat? Because I always don't want to give up. Just because all my images didn't stamp, didn't scan and cut. I was telling you that often it's because of the position where you place things onto the mat. Because I've, I've actually had success with those, those spools before. So what I'm going to do is find a pair of scissors here. Okay, I have a pair of scissors. What I'm going to do is, because these didn't cut, I'm going to go ahead and lay them across the mat. I was telling you just use painter's tape. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to give that a shot. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load the mat. I'm going to put more tape on it. But just in the interest of saving time, I'm just okay, I'm going to hit the home button and I'm going to go ahead and say that I want to scan, that I want to directly cut. Okay. Let me just make sure that these are laying flat. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say start. Okay. I hit the home. Directly cut. Start. And here comes my crazy mat. <laughs> I'm going to put this camera closer to the screen so you can see if it, these got recognized. Okay, I'm going to say okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the area. Oh, I should have really put these straight up and down. It would have been a lot easier to select. I see the bottom didn't get selected, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I'm going to go ahead and add it, outline distance. I'm going to say okay. I'm going to say okay again. You see what I mean? This little one did not get selected. So I'm going to go ahead and trash that little piece. That one is okay. I'm going to trash that little piece. Okay. I think I have everything. I, I got rid of the little bits there. I'm not, I'm not selecting that one there. I'm going to go ahead and say cut and start. Okay, so that was a little troubleshooting tip. Just because something doesn't cut in one part of the mat doesn't mean 
that you can't place it on another part of the mat and cut it. But I should have really placed it these up and down or side to side because keeping in mind that you need to, when, when you want to select things, it's just easier when you have them up and down or side to side. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop that. I mean, I lay my camera down and go ahead and peel the mat back. So, I'm very happy. I'll unload the mat, say okay. And I'm very happy that these little spools came out. I knew they would. Again, it was just the placement on the mat too close to the edge. Now, I told you I had a, a blade dip set, you know, of almost five. So that's, and it's, it's scratching into the paper a little bit. I could have even gone one step lighter. All right, well, thanks for watching this video. I can't wait to color these, make projects, and show you what I come up with. So please visit me at thepaperchef.com. Thank you.